Hi guys, Brandon Redman here, PDJ number 47316, here with Team Latitude 64 at Rise Park. Uh, this is a park that I use for my practicing, uh, with just a little small course, uh, but I can utilize the soccer field and there's a basket nearby that I can do my putting. Uh, I'm here today testing out the 2019 releases from Latitude, Dynamic, and Westside. Um, if you've joined me here from my video regarding the Keystone and the Guard, welcome back. If you haven't checked those out yet, go back and check them out. Uh, for this video, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the West Side Gatekeeper. This is one that's uh, it's got a lot of hype behind it. It's something that's been very anticipated. Uh, to me, it feels like just looking it out, looking at it out of the box, uh, something that's going to fit between the Bard and the Pine and the Warship. So not quite as straight as the Warship, but not quite as much over stability as those other two. Um, if it's extremely comfortable in the hand, uh, you can definitely feel that rim though. Um, so if that's something that people that you might not like, um, it does have kind of a sharp edge. Uh, but it is beadless, which is always a bonus. I'm a big fan of beadless putters, or uh, I'm sorry, mid ranges. So we're going to test it out against a Lucid Verdict that I bag, and I also have a first run Fuji from the, the Overmold lineup and uh, we'll see see what this flies like. So we'll go the three different angles. We'll go a hyzer, flat, and anhyzer, and uh, let's check out what the gatekeeper's all about. So first up, we'll do the verdict. Next up, the Fuji. And the gatekeeper. So I didn't get the gatekeeper as high as I did the other two. Um, the other two are more for more for just reference, anyways. I wanted to see how much it penetrated on that hyzer. Uh, it's quick. Uh, it's quite quick. I put it right up there in the realms of the verdict and being kind of a faster mid-range. Same thing with the warship slightly faster mid-range kind of one of almost those in between mid-ranges um, held that hyzer really nicely came out of the hand very smooth very easy to throw um, I, I, I like the flight a lot not a lot of skip which is good um, I tend to get skip off my verdict when I throw it this one didn't really seem to have the same sort of skip as the verdict does so that could be a big bonus for those of you who want to check this out so we'll go grab those then and we'll check out flat release. All right, so no surprise, the Verdict and the Fuji were pretty close to each other. Um, it really comes down to just kind of feel on what you like, what you prefer, but I thought the, the Fuji, Fuji flew very, very close to what the Verdict does, maybe just slightly quicker. Uh, the Gatekeeper though, now granted I did keep that lower, so it definitely penetrated more. It was about another 10 feet further. Um, and like I said, it's, it's a pretty quick mid-range. Um, so, but the, they were all still relatively close to each other. So this time we'll go with a flat release. We'll do the verdict first. Ah, 10 points. That one kind of slipped out of my hand a little bit. That was a better release. The wind is picking up, so these they might want to beat these down a little bit. Pretty solid flight. Um, the gatekeeper slipped on my hand a little bit as well as the verdict did. Uh, not quite as bad, but it did hold its line really nicely. Uh, the hailwind definitely made it be a little bit more overstable than what uh, it probably should be. Like I said, the wind's picking up a little bit here. So we'll, uh, we'll grab those and we'll check out the Anheuser release. 
Alright, next up then, we're looking at the Anheuser release. I don't expect these to hold too much, being that they're all going to be a little bit overstable. Plus, I got the tailwind, so I might hammer these a little bit harder than normal, what I normally would. Um, unfortunately, that net is right in the line that I kind of want to put them on. I did try moving it. It is either frozen to the ground or it is staked into the ground. I cannot move it. So, we'll see what we can do. First up, verdict. We got the Fuji. And the gatekeeper. Unfortunately, that tailwind got a hold of it at the end of its flight. It definitely dropped it right out of the sky. Um, but you can see it held that little bit of, of Anheuser and really kind of floated and took off. Um, if it hadn't dropped out of the sky, probably would have had another 20 to 30 feet worth of distance because it was still kind of floating as it was panning out before it dropped. Um, it's Again, it's still a very, very quick mid-range. Um, I really like the flight. It's definitely something uh, that quite as overstable as the Verdict. Uh, as you can see on that one, the Verdict definitely fought itself out a lot faster. Um, I was never a big fan of the Warship. Personally, it just didn't feel quite right in my hand. But those of you that enjoy the Warship and struggle to find the more overstable versions, be it the, uh, the Matte White Gold Line or Deco Die or Opto, this might be something you really want to look at. This is going to give you that overstable warship flight without worrying about what run you're grabbing or what kind of plastic you're grabbing. Uh, it definitely flew how I would expect a slightly overstable mid-range to fly. It, it's, it's a very nice flight. Uh, again, easy, clean release out of my hand. Um, it's something that I, I really enjoy throwing right now and testing. Will it make the bag? Not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so, there you have it, the flight of the gatekeeper. Uh, do me a favor, if you at least enjoy some of what I'm doing here, uh, subscribe, click the bell, get some notifications. Uh, look forward to some more content coming your way. Later.